Da da da. Or the, the hoopa hoopa. It is hoopa hoopa. 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 <laughs> so yeah, I was just inspired because this Saturday on Hallmark Channel is the premiere of Perfect Bride Wedding Bells, which has my second favorite Hallmark star, well, Kevin nice. Smith. <laughs> that's nice because you know, well obviously James well played, is your first. Yeah. Why, thank like you, that. I'm no dummy. Mm. Um, <laughs> so Kevin plays a wedding photographer who is in the roles of planning his own wedding. And what does a wedding photographer need? A photo op. Exactly. Yes, and how adorable is this? I love the idea of incorporating as a girly girl and a perfect bride, you need some lace. Yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> yes, and you want to create a space for you know your guests to take a bunch of pictures because at a wedding, that's what you do. You take yeah. so many pictures. You want to you, you actually are, are marrying the person you, you love. Yes, you. Yes. <laughs> I but, but the photos. <laughs> the pictures are right. more important than <laughs> everybody else. It lasts forever. <laughs> the the, the love forever. is right here inside of us, but you can't photograph. But you know what? You can't, can't document love. said love without pictures. Oh, yeah. love. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and actually, this is such a beautiful thing, an easy thing you can do. And um, uh, some of our family members took some pictures earlier oh, that we want them. to show you guys what they look like. Oh, look at that shirt. Isn't it so pretty? Adorable. This really is a beautiful backdrop. Oh, Larissa. Oh. Larissa. See, the importance of the pictures. <laughs> oh, Orly and Paige, you look gorgeous. Right. It's great to sort of have that frame to sort of draw people yeah. in. And have, we did not have a wedding photo backdrop at our wedding, and I wish I did. I know, because it's, it's just so nice to have beautiful. that place and make sure everyone gets to it. That's right. Exactly. Yep. That's great. Well, Ken, you got, you get started on the art part. Yep, of the, I got started on the art. So this is one of those weird things. So I'm Mr. DIY, but I'm also Mr. Frugal. So I was about to build one, <laughs> and then I started to look online, and you can actually buy the kits for starting right 130 bucks, which is about the same or less than the raw material. So this is one of those oh, things really? I say, go buy the kit at your local hardware store mm -hmm. and assemble it. And so I was assembling one of the kits earlier today. Um, they usually come full instructions. Everything's pre-drilled. So with this one, you put on your sort of your two sort of buttresses that go on either side and then you basically just attach the side and the buttress to the front panel. Um, all the screws are there, everything's pre-drilled, the easiest thing ever. Um, you do that with both sides and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to do it on the other side. That's it, basically. After that, you're just going to stand it up and you're going to put the little pieces on top. They're all pre-cut, comes with a spacer board right there that you use, so there's no measuring, and that way you know that oh, each piece nice. is going to be exactly the same huh. bit apart. You can leave it like that, or we painted it white to go with our sort of white. like natural white. white. White, James. I can't white. even say that now. White. 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 It's, it's a, a white. 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 I like all letters to be pronounced. Yes. <laughs> it's his Ivy League uh, yeah. schooling. That's what oh it is. Oh my gosh. So, Maria, yeah. how did you make the white lace hoops? So. <laughs> So for the white, um, I, the lace is actually really simple. And as you can see, I did a lot of different types of lace. So you want to look for different designs. But all you really need are embroidery hoops that you have here. And when you get the embroidery hoops, you can get them online or at the craft supply store. They come like that. There's two of them. There's one in the middle of the other. And so they, what you want to do is just simply like, you know, twist it so that they come apart. And all you do is you take the center one and cover it with the lace. And then all you do is... Place the top on. You want to make sure that it's, um, you kind of pull it so that it's not just saggy. Okay, and so then, it's taut. exactly. And then tighten it up. And then all you do is cut around it. And right. then that's what you have over there right. is all of that. Is, and then it looks like you created something that was like, hand right. And that was so, there, there's no gluing, there's no sewing. Exactly. And all even of that. when it's done, you actually can still take off all your hoops and you can then get onto it with your embroidery. There we go. But really then you have, to, you have to put the hoops together, right? So, is yeah, there a then, certain way to connect them? You know what is my new favorite thing? What? Zip ties. Ah. I got started white earlier. Zip ties. White with white some white zip ties, and I got started yeah. earlier, show you guys how to do it. So <laughs> after I uh, did all of the lace, what I did was I actually just did a bunch of different sizes and put them up to kind of see what they would look like, you know, up on the on the um, on the space. And so then all I did was tie them together with the zip ties. So if you have lace that's taking over the like covering the whole thing, then you want to cut into it with some fabric scissors like I'm doing here. And then you can bring it in through the back or the front. You really don't see the zip ties, and if you're concerned, right. you could cover them with some ribbon or something sure. like that. But this is all you really need for them to stick together. And then the embroidery hoops come in different thicknesses, so the really big ones are going to be thicker, but you don't really have to worry about that. So a lot of it's just like holding them up, taking it back down and seeing Figuring it on out. your large table or some kind of large space, and then filling in. And it's just like a little puzzle. And that's all you really need to do is uh, have the zip ties. And then we decided to put it up. As you can see, it's, we ended up doing it in the back. We had the idea of possibly doing it in the front, but we thought it's a cool space to walk into. Sure, yeah. And beautiful. then doing that. So yes. you want to really figure out your um, sort of your design you on the exactly. table first. And, and I, then. Yes, but I did find that it was helpful that once it was up, 
to like do the lower to go back ones and, and see, kind of go like, and adjust. And you can always right. cut the zip ties and adjust. And then there's just a bunch of trim in some different colors at the bottom. And I just glued them on the back with the hot glue gun. Beautiful. And you could, if you want to cover the zip ties, you could use some of that trim to make right. But you really don't. They really completely disappear. And yes. you're never going to see them in any of the actual photos. And it makes it so easy to put together. And then Highly you finish it up with some of Maria's old driftwood from yes. the other segment. <laughs> because I have her a wine note segment. as frugal. Yeah. This was lying. It's like, oh, I bet that Maria's old driftwood from last week. I'll take that. And all I did was get some inexpensive garland. You could use fresh or faux, mm -hmm. and then actually added flowers. Now, I use silk here, but if you're having the wedding and you've got some of the fresh flowers, yeah. a little water vial behind it, and it can tie in oh, with the sure. bride's flowers. And then I just um, hot glued one of our little lace things here. Yeah, and then going with the theme of your wedding also. You know, exactly. it's such a great idea. And actually, we, um, you know, there's even like little doilies over there that we use. Oh, yeah. Um, and you, you could use like your family's doilies. You right, know? right, exactly. Like grandmother's doilies. So you have something something new, something you didn't even need a ladder for that. I well, did. Yeah. I have my shoes on. <laughs> I think that was the dig. It was a little bit. <laughs> From someone thing. who was also vertically challenged. Wait, you guys need to get oh, over there. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. Right right oh, I'm so happy to be here. There's oh, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so switch it up. It's like a photo booth. No. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Oh, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> For step by step instructions, head to hallmarkchannel.com and be sure to catch the perfect bride wedding bells this Saturday at 9 8 central right here on Hallmark Channel.